With currently over 79,000 cases worldwide, most of which are occurring in China, and with the death toll at 2,470 from the time of recording this video, the coronavirus has already proven more deadly than your typical flu. Just how serious is the coronavirus? Is it the modern day Black Plague? The coronavirus was first detected in Wuhan City, a city in China famous for its lakes and parks, and most recently because of this outbreak. Now, coronaviruses are nothing new. They are a large family of viruses that cause illnesses ranging from the common cold to severe diseases. You might have heard of SARS or MERS, other coronaviruses that originated in bats that proved deadly to humans. Strands of the coronavirus were first detected in the 1960s, and most of the time they spread similar to the common cold, such as through coughing, sneezing, and touching an infected person. So what makes this strand of coronavirus so different? Well, this is a new strain, meaning it hasn't been seen before in humans. One of the main concerns among health officials for this new coronavirus coronavirus is the incubation period, or the time it takes you to get sick. While a typical flu ranges from 1 to 4 days, the coronavirus can take closer to 2 weeks for you to start feeling symptoms. That means unlike a typical cold, where you'd only spread it when you start coughing and sneezing, if you have the coronavirus, you could go around infecting other people for a while, all the time feeling completely normal. That also means that usual tactics like screening in an airport won't work if you've just been infected. Ignore this for too long, and you're looking at a global catastrophe. And we've all already seen the coronavirus spread to over 30 countries, with 35 cases currently in the US. Luckily, preventative measures have been taken pretty quickly. The World Health Organization saw this as a serious threat and declared it a public health emergency. And the US government placed a level 4 travel alert on China, the highest possible level, telling people not to travel to China due to the novel virus. So how did this strand become a thing? While public health officials are still working to find the original source, when analyzing the genetics of this virus, just like SARS and MERS, it can be traced back to bats. But it's not known whether the virus jumped directly from bats to humans or if an intermediate host was involved. A word of advice, if you're ever near a bat, stay the heck away. So just how deadly is the coronavirus? Well, this is still an ongoing outbreak and the news on it is constantly changing. So by the time you watch this video, the numbers are going to look different. Out of the 79,000 cases, the mortality rate is about 2% and out of the 53,000 people currently infected, 22% are in a serious or critical condition. While the mortality rate may seem low, it's still more than the seasonal flu, which stands at 0.1%. Out of all the cases of reported deaths, a majority of them occurred in people who were 80 years and older and those with pre-existing conditions such as cardiovascular disease and diabetes. So in other words, if you're generally healthy and you wake up feeling sick one day, don't panic. Even if you end up getting the coronavirus, your chances of dying are pretty low, as 80% of cases are mild and can be treated at home. But how do you know if you have the coronavirus? The virus seems to start with a fever followed by a dry cough and leads to a shortness of breath. These are similar to cold or flu symptoms, making it hard to know if you have a normal cold or are infected with the coronavirus. One thing to point out is the coronavirus rarely causes a runny nose, sneezing, or a sore throat. These are most often signs of a common cold. While vaccines are still in the works for coronavirus, you should still be taking your own preventative measures, such as washing your hands, covering your cough, and staying home when you're sick. What are your thoughts on the coronavirus? Let us know in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our new tips every week.